Hello students. Today we will learn about Mail Merge, a very useful feature of Microsoft Word. In business as well as in official matters, it is often required to send letters with similar information to different people. The letters require the name and address of each recipient to be printed on the top. So changing the address each time would be a very long process and wastage of time and effort. Mail merge feature of Microsoft Word is used to combine a data source which contains addresses of all the recipients with the main document. It saves our time and energy to send letters at multiple addresses. Let us start with the data source. Data source consists of a mailing list. The data is organized in tabular form along with the field names. For example, name, address, city, pin, telephone number, etc. The data source is associated with the main document so that its field names can be used in the main document and it becomes easy to merge addresses with the main document. Students, let's know more. Field is a column in a data source that contains one type of information, example, name, address, city, etc. Let me explain you how to create recipient list. To create a new mailing list, select the type, a new list ratio button under select recipient section in the mail merge task pane and click on the create option. The new address list dialog box appears on the screen as shown in the figure. Click on the Customize Columns button to add or remove fields. Enter data in the respective fields and click on the new Entry button located at the bottom left of the dialog box. Enter four records of your friends and relatives. Click OK. You will get the Save Address List dialog box. Specify a name in the file name text box and click on the save button. The mail merge recipients dialog box will appear as shown in the figure. This dialog box displays the details of all the records added by you. To change any detail you can select the data source and click on the edit button located under the data source box. When you are through click on OK to confirm and close the window. Note that by default, tick marks are placed on the checkboxes next to the data source field. It gives an indication that the records are selected. If you do not want to send the letter to a particular address, just click on that specific checkbox to deselect it. Click OK. Now click on the next Write Your Letter Wizard step under Step 3 of 6 section in the Mail Merge task pane. Now let us learn how to insert merge fields. Place the cursor at the position where you want to insert the record fields. On the mailing tab, click on the Insert Merge Field button in the right and Insert Fields group. The Insert Merge Field dialog box appears with the list of field names you have created. Click on the field name that you intend to add and then click on the Insert button. Similarly, insert other fields into the document. Click on the Close button. You will notice that the selected field names appear in your document one after another horizontally. Separate the field names by pressing the Enter key. Students know the fact. You can select the Use an Existing List option under Select Recipients when the list of recipients already exist. Find out how to view the merged data. You can check whether Microsoft Word has picked up the data source according to the merged fields or not by viewing it on the screen. Click on the Preview Results button in the Preview Results group on the Mailings tab or select the next Preview Your Letters Wizard step under Step 4 of 6 section. The first record will be displayed. Click on the Next Record button in the Preview Results group to view the next record of the data source. 
Students know the fact. Select from Outlook contacts. Choose this option under Select Recipients if you want to use the email address book in Microsoft Outlook. Ok students, let me now tell you how to print the letters. You can take the printouts of your letter with the merged data of your data source. In order to print the letters, follow the given steps. Click on the Finish and Merge button in the Finish group on the Mailing tab. Select the Print Documents option from the drop-down menu. Or click on the Next Complete the Merge Wizard step under Step 5 of 6 section in the Task pane and then click on the Print option under the Merge section. The Merge to Printer dialog box will appear. Define the desired print settings and click OK. Now a print dialog box will appear. Define the print settings and click on OK. The selected records will be printed separately along with the letter. Students Word 2007 provides similar options to create a mail merge document by selecting the Start Mail Merge option from the Mailing tab. Ok students, let us take a recap of this chapter. The mail merge feature is used to send the same letters to a number of people at different addresses. The mail merge feature combines two documents. One is main document and the other is data source. The main document contains the text you wish to send to the recipients and the data source contains addresses of the recipients. Merge field is a data item which instructs Microsoft Word about where to insert the data source information in the main document.